Oh, there you are. If you've been thinking about buying Mark Burnett's R program or testing out Term 1, well, I'm here today to tell you some things I have noticed while practicing in Term 1 and if you should buy it or not. And as Mark likes to say, class is in session. Pay attention. Let's get started. To make things clear first, I bought the whole program and I absolutely love it. So if it happens that nothing I'm saying interests you, I'm putting some drawing footage of me in the background. So you can watch my progress in turn one right now. First off, I'm gonna start with the positives. And then I'm gonna move on to the little flaws I've noticed while practicing term one. These aren't major or anything like that, but let's get to the positives first, my man. So positive number one. It's the Discord community. Why? Because they help others a lot, you get to help others a lot, you get to learn from other mistakes and you get to learn from your own mistakes. So it's a win-win situation for everybody and I think it's just positive having such a likeful community with the same passion that you have and everybody works together, you know? Everybody learns from each other and I just like how this community works. So the second biggest positive, I think, is the way Mark explains. Mark just explains things in such a simple way. For now, I'm remembering everything he has because when he gets his time, he's a god at explaining, really. And that's a positive thing. That's a really positive thing because if someone is bad at explaining but has all the knowledge, you know, maybe you remember your teachers at school or something like that, then you have to relearn it at home and the knowledge just doesn't get in there. The third biggest positive that I have noticed is the structure the program is built up upon. Why? Because if you're anything like me and you used to draw on and off all the time and maybe get an anatomy study in all two weeks or something like that, then you won't grow as an artist, at least not as much as you could. And this program is structured really well when it comes to actually repeating things and memorizing things. So you get assignments for each term and each lesson you're making and you can repeat those assignments on a daily basis. Well, yeah, it probably can get a bit repetitive after some time, it just keeps you focused on your goals, you know? So, you can work towards something because you have to do something. It's just like in school with getting homework, you know? Before I even go on to talking about the information provided in term one, I want to say, if I happen to buy this program, first of all, watch Enhanced Learning in term seven, the Discord server links it too, but it's kinda hidden, so I'm just saying it to you because he's telling you a lot of things for learning and memorizing when watching some of his lessons. Taking notes is essential and I'm doing it with a lot of YouTube videos that actually interest me too because you can memorize it better and if it happens that you forget something, you always have it on an iPad like me right here or you have it on a sketchbook or something like that and you can get the information without actually having to re-watch the whole video just because you wanted to know this one thing. I just think it's a really practical way and it doesn't take up a lot of time so just try to implement this in all daily life activities because it's very useful. So what's the content of term one then? So you basically focus on simple perspective so one point and two point perspective and on simple figure drawing, gesture drawing, proportions and construction. It's not really a lot. Term one is kind of limited in information, but when I went ahead and actually looked at the other terms, I just got bombarded with knowledge of light and color and anatomy, etc, etc. I think you know what I mean. It's art, you have to learn everything. Um, 
So it's just really term one that's strictly limited in information because it focuses on the fundamentals. I started with perspective because I wanted to get over the boring part first, at least for me the most boring part, and then I wanted to get to figure drawing and construction, which I thought was way more fun than perspective. But are there any negatives? Well, yes, but actually no. Let me explain. So, the program, first of all, it's well structured. However, I would like maybe two assignments per lesson, so you can switch it up day by day and you get a bit of diversity in actually practicing and that doesn't become as monotone as it's for me now. If you're anything like me and you have around 10 hours of school then have to work out, read, meditate and draw, then you don't have a lot of time for personal projects after practicing art. So when I began with art school I took around 3 hours of practice per day and now I pushed it down to around one and a half hours, maybe two hours. So I've closed the gap a little bit and I got a bit of time for personal projects. So if you're kind of busy like me then it gets kind of repetitive and it gets kind of monotone because you never get to work on some personal stuff. However, you just have to push through this because otherwise you would have to practice it anyways and there you get to practice it very efficiently and very fast. But if you happen to have a lot more time than me, then I think there's nothing standing against the personal project for you. Because when you take two to three hours of practice and you still have five hours of free time left, then yeah, I think you can start with some personal stuff too. So, to conclude it then, who is this program for? The program is for everyone. Whether it's for professionals or for noobs. So if you want to grow your art skills and want to buy this program, and don't have a lot of structure in your day right now, then I think this program is definitely for you. Let's recap fast. So, on the positive side you will get a great Discord community, a great teacher and a great structure that will help you work your way up in the art business. And on the negative side, number one, if you're short on time, it will probably feel like it's very repetitive and monotone when practicing. And number two, there could be more assignments for each lesson, so you could switch it up, but that's up to Mark, not up to us. So, I hope you could take away something from this video, maybe even make a decision on the program or on Term 1. And thank you for watching, have a nice day!